Hi there, so this video might not come as something that's useful to everyone out there, but perhaps there's one person that doesn't know about this plugin and wants to show a panoramic image inside of their Flutter app. If that sounds like you, then the Panorama plugin might be of use to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project and we're going to display this panoramic image right here inside of our app. We'll then be able to pan around it as we can see here in our emulator photo at the bottom of this article. As always, if you do want to see how to use this in text form, you can of course check out the article inside of the description. So before we go any further, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with more Flutter and Ionic content. For demonstration purposes, and in case you want to follow along, we'll start off with a new Flutter project by saying Flutter Create, and we'll call this My Panel. So we'll go ahead and create a brand new Flutter project. We can then CD into the directory and open up inside of VS Code. Now it is important at this stage that we don't open this up inside of our emulator because we will be adding a new package. The first thing that we will do is head over to the dependencies and we'll say that we want to add Panorama, currently version 0.02. As of course we are using the VS Code plugin for Flutter, it will automatically run Flutter pub get at this stage, which will get that package and we'll be able to use it inside of the project. Now at this stage, because we have the package installed, we can start the emulator by heading over to main.dart and starting a debug session on the iOS or Android simulator or even a device. So here we have our trusty counter app. We're going to simply remove the my homepage class at the bottom. And instead of home being my homepage, we're going to make the home panorama. This takes a child, we'll say image.network, and we'll pass in the networked image. You could also make this an image asset. You can do whatever you want. And here we are. We can now see we have this panoramic image. So it lags a little bit on the emulator, as you can see. But if you look at this on a device, you should find that it is quite performant. And for me, at least, I can see all around this image. You do have a variety of other settings here, such as the animation speed. It defaults to 1.0. This is the speed of the rotation. We have a various starting latitude and longitudes, maximum minimum zoom, sensitivity of the gesture itself, and so on. Some examples of things that we might want to change could be the min zoom, the max zoom. Let's, for example, set the zoom to two instead of one by default. And if we hot reload this, we should be able to see that we are now, in fact, substantially more zoomed in. So there's definitely a lot that you can play with with this plugin. Let me know what you think, of course, inside of the comments section below. And if you'd like me to review any other plugins, I'd love to hear what you have in mind. Until then, I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.